guys. All right, my astronomers, it is time for science. That's right. So um, yesterday, um, we were astronomers for the first time, and you guys looked at objects in the sky. You were observing the daytime sky, and you observed and talked about the nighttime sky, right? And this morning, I had asked you guys, um, you know, can you see stars in the nighttime sky? Can you see stars in the daytime sky? Or you could see stars in the daytime and nighttime sky, right? That was the question I posed yesterday, and then I asked your answers this morning. So I'm going to read to you two stories today, okay? And they're going to give us some more information about the right answer to that question, okay? And we're also going to hear about our key terms that we're talking about in um, as astronomers, right? The Earth, the Moon, the Sun, and stars. Right, so we're gonna hear some key information and kind of get some uh, just a better understanding of some of these objects, okay? Um, because as astronomers and as scientists, right, we have to look for patterns in the natural world, right? We talked about yesterday that patterns would be something like the days of the week, right? That the natural world follows life cycles, right? That there are things that repeat over and over again, they make patterns, and those patterns help us as astronomers and as scientists to make predictions, right? So, why I'm telling you that is because the first story I'm going to read is called Another Sun. Now, this story is actually fiction. It is fantasy. It is set in the future. But some of the things that they talk about in this story, I think they use some um, informed decisions as to why they chose the things that they did, right? Um, so, yes, it's fantasy, but there are some true things in it also, okay? So, without further ado, let's dive in, astronomers. Another sun. I wish you guys were able to see. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Katie. We work together and have a pretty amazing job. We are astronomers. We get to study stars to learn more about them. It's the year. 2,235, so 215 years from now. And today, we are traveling to a place where we've never been. We plan to visit a star that was just discovered. We are used to seeing stars shine at night in the sky, but this time we're going into outer space to see one up close. This day is exciting for us. You can come along on our journey. Before we can take off, we have to get ready. We have gear to put on that will keep us safe on our space mission. Our gear keeps our bodies from getting too hot or too cold. It also provides air. Our pants have many pockets that stay shut. They keep our tools from floating away when we're working in space. So they need these special suits so that they're not too hot or too cold, right? Because where do, where do we get a lot of our heat from here on Earth? We get heat from the sun. So if you're flying into outer space away from the sun to another star, it might be really cold. But once they get to that star, it might be really hot. So they need a space suit that's going to keep them safe from both um, heat and cold. And when they go in outer space, there's no gravity, so they might float around, which is why they have lots of zippers on their pockets. So even though this story is fiction, there are some real things in here as well. Now we are suited up and ready to start our journey. Our ship takes off, carrying us into space. It will take many months to get all the way to the star we want to explore. We will show you where we live during our long trip. We have a deck where we sit to pilot our ship, right, the flight deck. We use the computers in our cockpit to control the flight. When it's time for us to sleep, we zip ourselves into special sleeping bags so we don't float away. See, she's zipped in and the, and the um, sleeping bag is attached to the bed that she's lying on. Finally, we approach the star. We are not sure 
what this star will be like. We know it will be similar in some ways to all other stars. All stars make their own light and give off heat. Who knew that? Let's write that down. All stars give off their own light and make heat. All stars make their own light and give off heat. Okay, so that's important that all stars make their own light, right? At nighttime, we can see lots of different stars in the sky. But I wouldn't have thought that they were hot, right? Hmm, this is interesting. But every star is a little bit different from all the other stars. Some are red, some are blue, and some are yellow. Some are hotter than others. Some are bigger than others. We can't wait to observe this new star. Does this um, illustration of a star look like anything? Does it look like the sun or does it look like the stars? Anyone have an idea why? Make a prediction, scientists and astronomers. So far, we can tell that this star doesn't twinkle. It isn't star-shaped either. Do you think any stars are star-shaped? No, right? When you look up into um, the, the night sky, they don't look like that, right? That's an image we make when we draw. It is large, round, and yellow. And orange, like our sun. In fact, our sun is a star. It is the star closest to Earth. Guys, who knew that? That the sun is actually a star. Oh my gosh, astronomers, that's some new information. The sun is a star. And not only is it a star, it's the closest star to us here on Earth. So, so, all stars make their own light and give off heat. And the sun is a star, and it's the closest star to Earth. Wow. As we study the new star, we see that it has two planets moving around it, just as Earth moves around the sun. So, is that something we are, maybe you already knew about Earth, but let's mark it down. The Earth travels around the sun, right? Moves around the sun, right? Earth moves around the sun. Finding a new star with planets is big news. We have much more to learn, so we will be here for a while. This is a special discovery. Wow, guys. So that was so interesting. So even though that that part of the, that, that story was um, fiction and fantasy, it gave us some real information, right? Because um, Katie and Mark, they were in the future and they were learning things in the future based off of patterns and things from the past, right? Patterns that they were able to recognize. So they were able to make predictions. They already know that planets move around a star, just like Earth. Earth is a planet, right? So they found a new star, and they see things going around it. They know that it must be planets. So that shows you that even though the story was fiction, they used just the way scientists and astronomers do. They use patterns that they find in, in the natural world to make those predictions and learn more in the future. So guys, um... Let's talk about what we just learned. All stars make their own light, which is really amazing. When we look up at the sky at night, we can see lots of different stars, right? And, um, but we only see them at nighttime. And that's because the sun is also a star. 
and the sun is the closest star to Earth, right? So we're seeing all of the sun's light during the daytime, and the sun's light is so bright that we don't see the other stars. But as the Earth moves, right, the sun is not moving. The Earth moves around the sun. As the Earth moves around the sun, right, and as it's moving, um, the Earth turns. And as it's turning, we see the night sky, right? When we're not facing the sun, we're, we see the night sky. And because we don't see the sun, now we see all those stars that are still there, right? They never leave. Like when you guys are in your bedroom and you're going to bed at night and you turn the lights off, is anything different about your bedroom? Maybe you can't see everything, but everything is still there, right? You just can't see them because the light is different. You turn your light back on. And everything's still there. It's still the same. So the sun gives us that light during the daytime. It's the star that's closest to us. At nighttime, we see other stars. And we see the moon sometimes. Because we do not have the light from this star, right? And all stars make their own light. Wow, 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 guys. This is some amazing information. So here's what we are going to do now. I'm going to read to you the nonfiction part of this story, Lights in the Sky. And we're going to see if the information that we just learned um, is the same in this part of the story and if there's anything else we can find out, okay? Lights in the Sky. Different kinds of stars. A star is an object in the sky that makes its own light. All right, thumbs up. That's what we just talked about, right? We can see stars in the dark night sky, just like this, just like this um, photograph, right? There is also a star that we see during the day. What star is that? That's the sun. Absolutely, the sun. The sun is the star closest to the planet we live on, Earth. You might think about stars and the sun as not being the same, but they are all stars. The sun is one of many stars. So here we see the light coming from the sun, right, on a, during the day, right? And we see the light coming from the stars at nighttime. And they are all so far away, which is why we get a little bit of light from all of them. The sun and other stars are alike in many ways. They all give off energy in the form of heat and light. The sun and other stars all shine as they make their own light. Earth is a planet that moves around the sun. A planet is a very large object that moves around the sun. Some of the other stars have planets moving around them in the same way that Earth moves around the sun. So look, there is a pattern in nature, right, that we talked about, that when you see things in other ways, right, that you can make predictions because you see those same patterns in nature. There are so many stars out there in outer space that we cannot count them all. That's what this caption says. We cannot count them all. There are so many. You can see some planets in the night sky because they reflect the sun's light. So there are certain times of the year when you look into the night sky and some stars will look brighter than others. And actually, it's a few times a year when you can see other planets and they will reflect the, the light from the sun, right? So in other times, so it might be a star that's really bright, like the North Star is very bright, and sometimes it's a planet too. The sun and other stars are different also. So even though they're alike, they're also different. The sun is different from other stars in a few ways. The sun gives heat and light to Earth and helps living things grow. So because it's so close to Earth, which is why it's the only light we see during the day, it actually makes the Earth, right? It helps the Earth to grow, right? We know... Um, what we know for needs and wants, right? Plants need sun in order to grow. Um, animals need that sun 
because otherwise they can't eat the plants to grow. We need sun. We get vitamin D comes from the, from the light from the sun. Um, so the sun gives heat and light to earth and helps living things grow. Some stars are smaller than the sun and give less heat. Some stars are even larger than the sun and give more heat. But all the other stars are much further away from Earth than the sun. So even though there might be larger stars out there, they are so far away from Earth that the sun is the brightest one, right? If you guys, um, like if I hold up, right, we can see that these are the same size. But if I hold this one closer to the camera, this one looks larger, right? Because it's closer to you. And this one looks smaller because it's farther away. But in fact, they are the same size. So when something is closer, it will look larger, right? And the same goes for light. So when light is closer to you, it will be brighter. And sometimes it will drown out the other light, which is why we don't see the nighttime stars during the day, because all we see is the sun's light. We get much more light from the sun than from the other stars. The sun is very important for Earth. The sun is a daytime star. So do you remember yesterday when I, um, on our video, I posed that question Can that the kids thought, one um, Lucy thought, I think, that you could only see stars during the daytime. One of the other children thought you could only see stars at nighttime. And one of the other children said you can see stars in the daytime and nighttime. So because the sun is a daytime star, can you see stars both times? Yeah. You see these stars at night. And the sun, which is a star, during the day. So you get to see both. But unless you knew the sun was a star, you didn't know that, right? The sun is a daytime star. There is another difference between the sun and other stars. We cannot see both at the same time. All stars shine during the day and night. But during the day, we can only see the sun and not the other stars. Sunlight shines so brightly on Earth that it outshines all other stars. But the stars are still shining all the time, right? Their lights aren't going off, right? That's how they are all the time. The sun is just so bright that we can't see it during the day when we see the sun's light. But if you guys have ever looked at the nighttime sky, you can make patterns and shapes out of those stars. And people can find patterns in the stars at night. And those are called constellations. Constellations. At night, when it is not cloudy, we can see that the sky is filled with stars. They look small because they're far away, right? I just showed you that with the two pictures. But many of them are as big or even bigger than the sun. We cannot see the sun at night. When it's nighttime, the part of the earth where you live is facing away from the sun at night. We can see, because of that, we can see the light from the other stars. And this constellation is called the Big Dipper. It's like a big scoop, something that you would dip into like a bowl of flour, right? If you're cooking, a Big Dipper. And there's a Little Dipper that pours into the Big Dipper. And you can see um, this constellation in the summer months during this time of year. So on a nice clear night, you have to see if you can find it. We can use a telescope. That's a scientific tool, right? A telescope is a very, very large magnified magnifying glass. And you look through it and you can see stars from far away. So guys, everything that we heard in both stories is teaching us all this information. The Earth is a planet, and planets move around a star. The Earth moves around, which one is our star? The sun, right? The sun is a star, and it is the closest star to Earth. All stars make their own light and give off their own energy in heat. So guys, that was um, some super amazing astronomer work. I am so proud of you. 
kiss your brains. Um, there is a story on Epic all about the sun that I would love for you to read on your own and it will be this same information, okay? And there's gonna be an activity on CISO where you can tell me some of this information, okay? All right, guys, I'm so proud of you astronomers. Talk to you later.